Hello and welcome everybody. My name is Geo from SwitchRPG.com. Today we have Dark Souls Remastered. Now, if you followed the podcast, you know that I absolutely love the Dark Souls series. Specifically Dark Souls 3. I so wish they would port that over to the Switch. Dark Souls 2 is good as well. Um, but here we have Dark Souls Remastered, the first in the series of Dark Souls games i'm not talking demon souls or any other souls games bloodborne things like that anyway we're playing dark souls remastered now this is actually more <laughs> of here's the story my brother-in-law says that this game is impossible no one can beat it uh when in fact i know many people who have beat it i originally played it a long time ago uh, as you can see 2012 it has been quite a while i've forgotten more than I remember, that is for sure. So, this is just kind of, just to prove to him that this game isn't really, it's not even that hard. It's not even that hard. Let's let's get a new game going here. All right, adjust the brightness. Yeah, okay. Uh, adjust the brightness until the flame is visible and the dragon is invisible. Invisible. Yeah, okay. Uh, we're going six here. <laughs> You'll have to adjust your own sets, but just trust me that um, I did not listen to that. Okay. Uh, we're not using Amiibo. I think everything else is probably fine. We have subtitles on, which is one thing I wanted to make sure. Uh, one thing that really irks me, and it's always really irked me, is that the A and B buttons, um, you know, typically the A button is your, your enter button. B, and it just reverses it here. It is so, oh, <laughs> it's frustrating at times. Uh, but yeah, we're, we're keeping all these settings set here. Now, I haven't played Dark Souls 3. That's probably the most recent Dark Souls game I've played. I haven't played that even in a long, long time. All right, so let's go with the name here. Character name. Um, again, if you watch the... Uh, see, and, there, and there's your... your <laughs> it's already starting. Um, no, cancel here. You know, you push A to enter, and then when you want to... Or B to enter all those things there. And then when you want to enter letters, you got to enter an A. Anyway, <laughs> um, if you watch the channel, you know that I always name my character. Pilgrim? Pilgrim. And that is an ode to John Wayne. Um, this stuff really doesn't matter to me. Um, we'll do this for now. Uh, this actually does matter to me. Now, I'm not going to go into all of... All of the benefits, pros and cons to all these. Some of them start with certain items, things, things of that nature. Um, again, you're gonna want to go over that on your own. Do some research, okay? Because it really does matter uh, what you start with. Again, some provide you certain benefits. Um, with Dark Souls Remastered, casters are really the best way to go through so i think what i'm gonna do um again we can go warrior knight i'm not gonna go thief because i do want that master key but i'm just gonna go i'm just gonna go plain old knight here and my gift i'm gonna do a master key now what's again what's great about the thief is it already has the master key now what the master key does it, it opens up some earlier doors in the game Nothing too crazy. Um, I guess this doesn't really matter. Not for me. Base. Uh, let's go really... I want to go... Yeah, I don't want to... I want really odd. Let's go with a bob cut, of course. What do we got here? Oh, yeah. Alright, I'm going to accept that. Yeah, sure. Why not? In the age of ancients, the world was unformed, shrouded by fog. A land of grey crags, arch trees, and everlasting dragons. But then there was fire, and with fire, came disparity, heat and cold, life and death, and of course, light and dark.
then from the dark they came and found the souls of lords within the flame. of the day. The witch of Isony and her daughters of chaos. Gwyn, the lord of sunlight and his faithful knights. And the furtive pygmy so easily forgotten. With the strength of lords, they challenged the dragons. Gwyn's mighty gods peeled apart their stone skins. The witches weaved great firestorms. Nito unleashed a miasma of death. Soon the flames will fade, and only dark will remain. Even now, there are only embers, and man sees not light, but only endless lights. And amongst the living are seen. Carriers of the accursed dark side. Yes, indeed. The dark sign brands the undead. And in this land, the undead are corralled and led to the north. Where they are locked away to await the end of the world. Why did they lock me away with all of my armor? Oh! Hmm. All right, Northern Undead Asylum. Away we go. Pillage Corpse. Dungeon Cell Key. We are all ready. Yes, we must dodge to win. All right. Look at that. That helpful gentleman. Now, if you're not aware with aware of what uh, Dark Souls is, and these are messages here. These right here are from the game itself. But typically, 
or sometimes I'm gonna just go by these enemies. Sometimes they can be written by other gamers, and most of them are just trolls. I have played, like, I do remember some things playing this game. I remember those guys just being useless. I know that I need to get another weapon pretty quick. Already have a bonfire. All right, cool. Bonfires are where you rest. Uh, where you level up. All those things. Oh, that's right. There is a boss here. I also recall that I should not fight him right now. In fact, I should just go this way. We'll get him in a minute. Another bonfire. The reason is, is I want to get a weapon, and I'm pretty sure that the weapon is right here. Oh, no, that, that wasn't it. Where's my weapon at? Um, ba -ba -bom. I gotta remember how to use this stuff. Alright, so we have a, just a hilt here. We're gonna use, oh, there, there goes that. That BDUs is really gonna get to me. Alright, so we're gonna use this shield here. That's really gonna get me. Alright, there we are. Get over here. Oh, is this it? Ah, there it is. Alright, so let's let's do this. I'm gonna I'm gonna get this quick. I'm gonna get it quick, guys. Don't you worry about a thing. Alright, we got our weapon. I just gotta get my parrying skills down. And I think we're gonna be good. What's up, bro? A little bit of that. Yeah, you're done. Oh, let's get that. Get these souls. Ah, oh, short bow. Ah, I don't need it anyway. All right. Where the heck are we now? Oh, that's our friend. That is our friend that rescued us, isn't it? It looks like him. All right, let's let's head this way. I don't think we're going up. Nope, not there. Got to be a shortcut up there somewhere. What the developers are really good at, you know, are having the levels kind of turned back on it in on itself. But really, there's a lot of like hidden paths. And things that you really wouldn't expect there to be like a turnaround or anything. I don't I don't know, just like whoa, hello. I should have known better. You There's a parry. First parry. Count it. Count it. It's locked. Alright, so we gotta go down this way. And to parry, you hold the shield with the L1, and then you push the L2, and it does the parry. It's, uh, some bosses you can do it on. Some, most enemies you can actually do it on. There's some that you can't. What is going on here? All right. So I unlock this little place. Ah, there's the boss. I don't think I want to take that boss on this way. I know that there's an area. What the? Oh, that, that, uh, ball, cannonball thing. Oh, what you got, buddy? You. You're no hollow. Thank goodness. I'm done for, I'm afraid. I'll die soon. Then lose my sanity. I wish to ask something of you. What's that? You and I, we're both undead. Hear me out, will you? Yeah, sure. Regrettably, I have failed in my mission. But perhaps you can keep the torch lit. There is an old saying in my family. 
Thou who art undead art chosen. In thine exodus from the undead asylum, maketh pilgrimage to the land of ancient lords. When thou ringeth the bell of awakening, the fate of the undead thou shalt know. Well, now you know, and I can die with hope in my heart. Oh, one more thing. Here, take this. An Estus flask. Oh, thank you. An undead favorite. Estus flasks are healing potions. Oh, and this. Oh, and what? Floor East Key. Now All right. I must bid farewell. Uh, bear, farewell, I dude. I home you after death. So go now. And thank you. All right. Please don't harm me after death. What do you say? Something killed him over there. I don't trust this dude. Why? Because I just did. All right, what does this thing say? Use item. Okay. So yeah, the SS flasks are basically healing items. As I told you, like things like open up, and it's just really weird. I think this is the uh, the key to this right here. I do remember this. There we go. Oh, the stupid arrow. Come on, dude. Ah, you stinker. Gotcha. Alright, so I do have to use an Estus Flask. Can I go through here? No. What in the world? It's locked. Okay, what the heck was that? What? Ha ha ha! There you are, you jerk. Plunging attack. Nice. This guy even hit me? Oh, there he hit me, but I just killed him. No, no, I didn't. There we go. Now he's dead. Oh, he hit me once. He really shouldn't have. Big Pilgrim's Key. Oh, that just opened up. We got a humanity. I'm trying to remember. Oh, I am like really fat rolling. I don't like that. Still hearing something. I feel like I'm fat rolling. I don't know, it just doesn't look right. Um There is something here, right? There's definitely something. I remember going up and around. Yes, here we go. Oh, wait, why? Oh, Jesus. That was stupid. Trying to figure out why I was two-handing that weapon. Beauty of Dark Souls. Maybe next time, do that not so close to a cliff. That might be the key. I'm trying to, I'm trying to un, there we go, it is X that does it. 
I'm still fat rolling. All right, well, there are my souls. At least I get my souls back. All right, don't, don't test out the system here, Geo. There we go. That's what I want. That's just a bunch of souls. But I don't lose those when I die, so that's always good. Well, that was stupid. Anyway, here we go. Probably a cutscene. I think this is a cutscene. Only in the ancient legends it is stated that one day an undead shall the undead asylum in pilgrimage to the land of the ancient lords Lordran Alright, we are in Lordran, and specifically we're at the Firelink Shrine. Uh, this is actually where I'm going to leave this episode here. So again, this was, this is basically a big, you know, or will be kind of a big F you to my brother-in-law, who says, be wary of jumping, okay? So these, these are the trolls. Try thrust. Huh? Oh, I get it. Okay. <laughs> anyway. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.